G'day, welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Rod. This is the Pedal Picassos. If it's your first time, please uh, drop us a line, drop a comment in below, hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think about this Mosguy Audio Classic M Shell. So it's a Marshall in a box. Um, I've already done videos on the F Du, which is the Fender in a box, the AC30 which uh, doesn't have a, a, I think it might have a dash between the AC and the 30, but it doesn't uh, doesn't hide the fact that it's being a Vox AC30. This is scarcely hiding the fact that it is a take on a Marshall pedal. Now these circuits themselves, as I understand, are copies of uh, Sans Amp Tech 21 um, circuits, which are amps in a box. So giving you the preamp style, and also the speaker cab emulation so you can go straight into your door or straight into front of house PA at a gig using this and go ampless, which is what I'm doing at the moment. So um, Les Paul, straight into garage band. Dull, lifeless, nothing. Uh, let's crank on, and I've got it wicked up gain wise as you would with a Marshall. So. Okay, is it a one trick pony? Not really, you can clean it up. Like all of the uh, Moscow, uh, Moscow, <laughs> yes, like all of the Moscow pedals in this range, you've got EQ across the top, so controls for low, mid, and high, and then across the bottom, you've got level, voice, and drive. The voice giving you a huge range of tones. <laughs> And it's very interactive with the drive. Can you clean it up? Yeah, I think you can. Bring the drive way down, give yourself some more output level. jazz with this I don't think um, so the EQs are, got a huge range in all the others so the potential to have plenty of top end I'm gonna bring the drive back up because that's where we should be with a Marshall I just set the EQ back to the middle And listen to how the voice really changes that gain. Bring it back to the left. All the way back to the left. Have you got more of a JTM or a JMP type of vibe, perhaps? Or a blues breaker style? Midway. Starting to get into JCM territory. And then certainly into the um, cascaded gain style of, of JCM. Mids, you've got heaps of um, scope with mids. There's your cardboard box. That's your tone. Scoop, if you will. Do some scoopage. If you like that type of thing, lots of hiss and gain going on there. Um, I suppose at extreme levels, it would pay to employ a noise gate for sure. Let's bring the mids up to... Five. 
Value for money, um, yes, absolutely. These pedals are about 50 bucks, and that's Australian. So you can find them online, I'm sure, or find them uh, at your local bricks and mortar outlet, or ask your local bricks and mortar outlet if they'll stock one of these, for sure. But this, the AC30 and the, the F-2, or the Fender uh, model, three pedals, $150, change out of $200, and you've got three classic style amps that will give you that emulation at, at a gig or for, you know, punching into your digital audio workstation to get that type of tone. Yeah, you're going to get very close. And you can punch your favourite gain pedals in to the front of them and your favourite reverbs and delays after them, if you want, or feed the delays into the front, whatever you want. You can go that... Um, uh, that post effects loop if you want. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Let us know if you've got one of these or if you've got something similar, if you're using it. Um, I use a Joyo variant of the uh, of the American tone, um, American sound it's called. It's the Fender style in the box, which is what the f Do Moskai is. Um, I've done shootouts on the both of those. I'll compare this one with the other Moskais in the range and do another video. Until then, um, yeah, uh, yeah, keep, keep rocking. See you next time.